everyone and welcome back to my channel today I have another DIY for you which has been really requested ever since I did the Kylie inspired like diamond jack like the denim jacket with like all the diamonds on it which was a really big hit on my channel I am sick so if my voice sounds a little congested that is why I also stabbed myself in the eye with my eyeliner pencil while I was creating this look for Instagram so don't mind the red eye on this side but anyway, so let's jump straight into this DIY. I will be recreating this look. I will try to insert it somewhere right here. And at first, I wasn't sure how I was going to approach this DIY because it had the peacock feathers. And I wasn't sure if I'd be able to find that exact piece. And I thought I'd have to find, like, smaller peacock patches and then, like, kind of put them all together. However, I went onto eBay and lo and behold, I found these two patches which are the exact patches that were used on this item, which is crazy. And there, it was available in two sizes, a small and a large, I believe. And I'm going to look up how much these were just so you guys can get an idea. The original item cost $111. The original item cost $111. And each one of these patches is about three something on eBay, which is insane to me. So the fact that they got... Pro it probably cost them even less to put this on this jacket was like crazy and like I like the jacket but it wasn't like $111 worth to me however I was on the hunt for a very similar gray sweater right I'm calling it a jacket it's not a jacket it's a sweater sorry and I looked at H&M and I had bought a sweater at H&M it cost me about $11 after a discount and I don't know, it just wasn't giving me the, like, oomph factor that I wanted. I wanted something that would really, sh like, kind of embody what was in the picture. I know you can't always find the exact item, but it's, like, so nice when you can get something that's so close, you know what I mean? So, and, and that sweater was kind of thin, and, it, like, I got the extra small, and, like, it wasn't fitting the way I wanted to. So, anyway, I scratched that. I returned it at, like, the last day of, like, 30-day return policy. And I went back, and I was searching, and a lot of... Um, gray sweaters that you find online already have like embroidery on them or they say like horrible slogans or like weird slogans and I'm just not about that however I was on pretty little thing and I found this sweater so I'm gonna try to show you guys I got the size small it was available in three sizes it's gonna like take up the whole screen here I can't ah. but anyways so I found this sweater it's like oversized okay but it gives the same exact look I believe as the photo so I was super excited this was I don't even remember I think this was a 20 or $25 sweater but after that like pretty little thing always has like 30% off and so it came out to like something less than 25 obviously and I thought it would be the perfect sweater to use for this DIY so if you're interested in how did I got this look please keep on watching so this is our sweater as I mentioned before and these are the patches there's two of them here. You could go ahead and iron them, but I'm not going to because I'm lazy and because I want to get on with this DIY. I actually tried sewing these and that wasn't the easiest way of doing it. Plus, I sewed it in the wrong part of the sleeve. So we're just going to scratch that. Thank you to my mom for pointing that out to me. And I'm going to give you guys a simpler option than to just hot gluing this because I don't think that's the best way to go about this DIY. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the photos of what the... Of what the sweater is supposed to look like so here we have let's see if it'll focus here we have the sweater as you can see it's long like this one and there's the patches and as you can see they're kind of like stuck at all like the edges this is how it's supposed to be so we want to put the patch right here on this part of the sweater we want to put the patch on this part of the sweater where there's like the top crease and then this fold this is where that center piece is gonna go for this. So, how are we gonna do this? My mom told me that I should try these. And let me kind of show you the piece of parchment here. It's called Badge Magic. So you basically cut out pieces of this. You stick it onto what you wanna stick, onto what you wanna stick. So basically I would stick a piece of this onto the peacock um, patches and then stick that onto the sweater and then you actually put it in the dryer and that kind of like melts it together so let me show you one important thing about this I haven't even really read the directions 
on the patch you don't really want to put these pieces of the parchment thing or the sticky stuff right close to the edge because then it'll kind of like melt in the dryer and kind of go over so we're going to put them in like the inside pieces of this so let's see if we can do that so here i just have some scissors from poppin and this is what we're going to use to cut the pieces of sticky paper so i think that we'll cut like just basically squares so i'm gonna go down this part So I just cut a strip of that sticky stuff. There's like a way to peel it here on the back. And I'm just going to go ahead and cut it further into little squares. So I went ahead and stuck those adhesives. I'm going to tell you where I placed them exactly. You can kind of see where the reflected pieces are. But I put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen pieces of this sticky stuff. So now let's try to stick it onto the sleeve here. We're going to grab the sleeve. We're going to place it and open it up like this. It's a pretty big sleeve, so that's very helpful. And once you stick it, it you can, you're still able to move it around. It's not until you kind of solidify it there with the heat that it becomes immovable. So there it is stuck on. I'm going to go ahead and repeat the process to this other sleeve, and then I will be right back so we can go ahead and get on to the drying portion of all this. Okay, so if this was a smaller patch, I could take a hair dryer and just kind of like go over the area for five minutes. But because they're such large pieces, I'm gonna take the sweater and put it in the dryer for five minutes so that it heats up and melts into the sweater. And then we will press it into the sweater like super hard. So I'm going to go do that. I think I'm going to put it on no tumble if that's an option because I don't want it to like move around too much. So I will see you when I get back. So my sweater is fresh out of the dryer. I wasn't able to put it on like non tumble dry. So I'm just going to go ahead and press that in. I did it for five minutes on high temperature. So press, 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 press. The same thing with the other sleeve. And stay tuned for the try on portion of this video. Before I reveal what the sweater ended up looking like, I have a big announcement that I was so excited to share here on my channel. I'm coming out with my own lash brand, my own lashes, which are going to be made of silk. And the website will be launching today, so if you go down into the description box, you can find the link to the online store. I'll be coming out with three styles. And I'm going to go ahead and show them to you right now before I reveal the final item. So this is the packaging right here. I don't know if the camera will really pick up all the detailing. But it says Molina Lashes in like a silver kind of foil. And the actual carton is kind of like a snake 
crocodile kind of skin vibe and it has like this micro gold shimmer in it. It's so elegant. I love it. And so this part here is also silver and inside you will find the lashes. So this is the first style that I'm going to show you guys. This is the style Virgo if you look on the website. And what I describe this style of lash to be is like kind of if you have like a volume lash extension set, this is the effect that this lash will give you. I had so many people ask me if I was wearing strip lashes or had extensions in. So that's how I came up with the description for this lash. The second lash I will be releasing is this one right here. This is the style, I'm trying not to put my fingers in it, but this is the style Icy right here. And I love this lash because it's like perfect to flatter like a cat eye or if you have a wing liner going on this will go perfectly with it. And I've worn these lashes for like performances and they like stay on the whole time. If you use a really good lash glue I recommend House of Lashes glue. So that's this style. And the last lash style that I'll be releasing is this one right here. This one is called Uma and this one was inspired after one of my dogs and it's such a sassy lash. It provides so much drama. I'm wearing it on my eyes right now. Let me see if I can get up close to the monitor for you. And it's just like so big. It's the biggest lash style I carry at the moment. So that is this lash. Now, the final product reveal of the DIY. Salgo hasta Thank you guys for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this DIY. If you want to see more DIYs or if there's certain requests you have, please leave them in the comments down below and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye. Do you like my makeup by the way? I did like a whole Insta video on this. It was worth stabbing my eye out. <laughs>